Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to go ahead and take another stab at this uh, game insurmountable here. And I believe when we left off last time we were in this uh, concrete bunker, for lack of a better term for it. Um, and we hadn't figured anything out yet on what all these things were, so that's what we're going to go ahead and do this time. So let's go ahead and just take this uh, one step at a time and then we'll go ahead and uh, jump into the mission and, and or the climb and see what we got for us. So, inventory looks like we can adjust our inventory with what we have on us, and it's fine. Cool. I don't know if it's all in there or not, but looks like the same stuff as before. Uh, ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, apparently we need to move stuff over. All right, well, let's let's not lose anything. Um, what is going on here? Capacity of 60. Oh, so you gotta really pick and choose what you're doing, I guess, this time. So let's see, this is a uh, minus 12 energy and minus uh, 12 timeline climbing. Let's see, what is this one? Climbing, 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 climbing. Huh. Let's do the other one. Definitely take a tent. That's gonna pretty much wipe out most of our supplies here. Doesn't look like we can put anything else in. So we'll confirm that. All right, characters. So it looks like we have a couple different options of characters to choose from. Looks like uh, right now our, these are locked still, so we're still stuck with the adventurer. And then we got 200 points to uh, choose for upgrades. And looks like this is the starting spot. No, up here's the starting spot. Huh. Increased energy. Oh wait, no that oh this is the bottom down here. Alright, gotcha. That's what I thought. Alright, cool. So we'll do this one because uh reduced energy cost is seems to be pretty important all right hit confirm what else do we have missions we'll look at that last proficiency oh that's all the stuff I earned in the last one all right got it team upgrades all right so it looks like things that you learn as you're going through the game maybe here All right, we'll see if that changes maybe the next time we come back. And it looks like that's about it. Oh, upgrade points for a scientist. Ooh. On a side mission. Get him on a side mission, huh? All right. Well, let's see what got permissions. So it looks like this was the first one we've uh, done. There's a lot of different options here. Mountain 1, Mountain 2, Mountain 3. Different camps. Side mission. Giant crater with a steep conical rise. Scale the summit, then reach the goal. This mission is unlocked. You have not played it yet. But I have a feeling that that probably means going to be unlocking the character, possibly. Scientists on the mission. There are reports of a scientist is also caught in the time loop. His expertise could be valuable, very valuable to your efforts. Of course, you'll need to convince him to join you first and take him to the station. Find the scientist and take him to the station. This mission is unlocked. You have not played. Okay, so that's where you can get the scientist. And this looks like the journalist one. Investigative journalism. Fine. 
Avengers. All right, and then, well, let's go for one to try and unlock uh, a guy. Let's go for the scientist. Can we do this one? Normal weather, normally time increased when, normally increased time cost when moving, character proficiency, and item proficiency. All right, let's try it. And that's apparently all I got right now to start this mission. I think it started more with the last time on the brand new session, but let's see what happens. A mysterious woman tells you about another mountaineer wandering around the mountain. He probably walked straight into the time loop just as cluelessly as you did. There is some information that indicates he might be a scientist. You want to find out more and convince the stranger to come with you. He could be quite useful in helping to find a way out of the time loop. Alright, so... Here we are, starting, starting from scratch. And apparently we're looking for scientists up there. So... Uh, zoom out. Let's go ahead and start climbing. Or in this case, climb down first. Is there anything over that way? Doesn't look like it, so yeah, we'll go here first. Oh, there is stuff over that direction. Uh, we'll stick with this for right now. <laughs> what do we have here? This is the uh, Master Climber. Reduced energy cost and all train. All right, a jingling fills the air around you, harmonious and melodious, followed by the sound of falling rain. You follow the sound to discover tubes of metal and wood tied together in a bare treetop, dancing and striking each other in the wind. You watch the wind chimes and lose yourself in fleeting melodies. You regain, I don't think we need to regain much of anything, but it looks like my sanity is a little bit low, so we'll do that one first. All right, and looks like we only have one option to go here. We'll head this way. We'll go ahead and speed up the time a little bit. Maybe make the session a little bit quicker to get through. Nearby an abandoned camp. There are some vacuum flasks filled with tea. You could take the time to search the tents. The beginning. Um, we'll... Let's see here, what's the time frame? That's going to put us in tonight. Um, we'll just do a quick one. You find two vacuum flasks filled with tea. All right. Oh, let's just click that and confirm. There we go. It's easy enough. Alright, so let's see, we'll head here. Looks like it got steep quick. I think we'll go up this direction. Oh, Tower's Vice. The path ahead of you tapers to a narrow passage lined with columns of brittle ice. One of the ice towers has collapsed and is blocking your way. You check the mound of ice. It would consume a lot of your strength to make your way through it, but it should be possible. Uh, taking a detour increases the time and reduces my te heat temperature. And this reduces my stamina a lot. We'll go with the stamina. Or should I? I see that'll put me in the nighttime. This will. I won't lose any time per se. I'll have to rest anyway, so we'll just do that, yeah. Shards of ice fly wildly as you hack away at the ice. You clear it away, chunk by chunk, until you have cleared the passage. You take a deep breath. Your arms ache, but you did it. Uh, 
Um, continue. There we go. Ah, I finally found something here. All right, let's go ahead and head up this direction. Let's see who we find. You spot a deer standing between two skeletal trees just ahead of you. As you consider walking over to the deer, to the deer stand, you search it for for, for yeah. Sorry, I'm stumbling over my tongue. As you consider walking over to the deer stand, you search it for provisions. You hear a rumbling. It sounds like an avalanche. You see the snow cloud on the horizon. It's heading straight toward you. Straight for you. Uh, there's a lot more stamina. That's fine, well, because I'm going to like rest anyways. You rush to the deer stand, but the rungs of the ladder have rotted through. You spot a broken crate on the ground. As you go to inspect the contents, you hear a whimper. An arctic fox is caught in a net and won't be able to escape without your help. By now, the rumbling of the avalanche has become a deafening roar. You need to hurry. Wow. Alright, so I can get a can of food. Or uh, stamina, get some experience. Or what is that? Good conscience ends in 24 hours. Plus, uh, sanity when moving and gain sanity in events. Uh, we'll do the fox. We leveled up. All right. Let's see, uh, maybe use a consumable animal gain for body temperature. I'm not gonna be worried about that quite yet. Reduce the uh, energy on all terrain for 24 hours. Uh, maximum active until the end of the mission. So we'll look with that. We don't need it yet, but that's a permanent thing. This is only going to last for 24 hours on the clock. So I like doing stuff that lasts a lot longer. All right. Where should I head? All right, there's stuff that direction. Love the uh, Aurora. So I uh, play another game called uh, The Hunter Call of the Wild. And they just recently released a uh, um, reserve on it called Reventilly Coast. And on Reventilly Coast, when it gets to nighttime, you can get the same thing with the Aurora Borealis on it. It's like really a uh, really amazing sight. I got to do it once. I have a video of that recorded here um, on my other channel. But um, it's really a pretty spectacular sight. Like I said, I'd love to see them. In person someday I think that'd be pretty uh pretty cool. Alright, um it really doesn't look like there's much here right now, but then again I don't really have much I can see with so uh maybe I didn't pick the best path coming this direction this time. Alright, we're gonna go up ooh. I'm looking at all these rockets. There's caves over there. Let's uh see what happens to try and work our way towards one of them. We'll go a little ways first. She's booking with the speed up. Oh, no, no thing. Your boots crunch as you walk across the snowy plain. Suddenly ground gives way beneath you. You sink up to your neck in snow and can hardly move. Only your arms are free. Ooh, that's a bummer, so out of stamina for that. It's going to take time, but it's the only thing I could do. Uh, you scoop the snow aside with your bare hands. The cold in your fingers becomes unbearable, eating deep into the tissue. Finally, you once again have enough room to move and are able to heave your body over the edge. Alright, you know what? We're going to uh, camp here. And we're going to do it for a long sleep to recanning as much as possible and get us into daytime. And I don't need that quite yet, but oh. We now have the the worst weather condition down here with the storm. At least tomorrow's clear. And uh, not quite to the death zone yet. Alright, so let's head. And which one would be uh, the 
Let's see, click that one, goes that way. Let's go to this one, I guess. We'll go to the person first. <coughs> the event. Personal event. Stamina's going down quickly. Alright. As you walk past a massive crevasse, or crevice, you hear faint cries for help. Looking into its depths, you identify an unfortunate mountaineer at the bottom of the chasm. Well, I always try to save people if I can. I think it's the right thing to do, like we did with the fox. Be kind of like wrong to free a fox, not help a person out. Carefully, you climb down the crevasse, crevice. After some time, you reach the bottom. With great effort, you manage to save the mountaineer. His gratitude is beyond words. And my stamina is out. Critical. When a stat other than health reaches zero, your status is critical. Your path preview turns red once any of your stats reaches critical level. If you continue to move in this condition, you will face dangerous critical events. Careful. If your health reaches zero, your run is over. Eek. So, the last time I played, I saw those red ones, but I uh, stopped moving. But it looks like you can still move. It's just dangerous. But this looks like a cave, so I should be able to rest there without having to use a tent. So, we'll risk it. Alright. You enter the cave cautiously. A short way ahead, the ground disappears. There is a wide, deep vault in the earth in front of you, stretching from one wall to the other. Explore the vault. would lose some stamina, which I'm already out of. But it doesn't seem like it's going to do anything, so let's, let's go ahead and do that. You squint down and make out something lying at the bottom of the vault. From this distance, it looks like it might be a backpack or bag. There Could be could there be valuable equipment in there? Alright, some sanity is fine. I can lose a little bit of sanity at this moment. You sit on the edge and carefully lower yourself down. Dexterous as ever, you are able to climb from ledge to ledge until once again... Until you once again feel the ground under your feet. Excited, you search the item, which is in fact an old backpack. Nothing. Climb back up, frustrated. I would be frustrated, that's for sure. You're once again the vast entrance of the cave. We're going to go ahead and get some rest. Need the energy and the warmth. Without using the tent. But we can level up, so we got that. Alright, what do we have here? Whenever you wake up, gain 4 energy, 4 body temperature, 4 oxygen, active until the end of the mission. Limited effect for 2 days. Uh, you gain 3 points of sanity and point of interest. Active until the end of the mission. When you use uh, consumable ammo, gain 4. Alright, we're going to go with this one. Alright. Let's uh, work our way up this way. I think that was the other cave up here. So even if I don't rest, I might still be able to find something to, finish, to help out. Which will be really good at this point because we don't really have a whole lot right now in this uh, run through. Something soaring. You enter an extensive network of caves. Toward the rear you notice an extinct, extinguished campfire. Lying in front of it is a stranger. Bundled up under a fur blanket. Uh, well, it'd be kind of weird to sleep without. <laughs> I could either leave the cave, but if I slept with them in there without letting him know, and he woke up before me, that'd be a little bit weird. I'm gonna wake, see what happens. He approached the mountaineer, but he doesn't react. You bend over and gently shake him. He murmurs something incomprehensible and rolls over onto his other side. He doesn't seem to want to talk to you. Can't say I didn't try. All right, so we're gonna try to lie down again to sleep. Should I go for the long one again? That'll give me four. Brief one gives me most of my energy, but it still leaves me in the daytime. That'll get me close to night again. So let's just do this one. Just get another little cat nap in. All right, so now we can see a little bit further along. Let's go t let's switch this close. I gotta go there first and then there. Looks like I can go either way. We'll go to the person first. The uh, possible conversation. All 
All right, you cannot believe your eyes. A fallen antenna is blocking your path. Oh, man. There's enough energy just to climb over it. This increases my time, but gives me more experience points. Just slightly, but... Uh, look around. I guess let's look around and see if there's anything around here or not. You are certain that the antenna is from years uh, of occupation. Maybe it was some kind of radio relay station. But what was it used for? You ponder as you continue on your way. Oh, I got 381 experience points for that. Even better. All right, so what we got? Uh, active until the end. Only active while oxygen is above 60. Minus 12 time percent cost on all terrain. That might be a good one. 48 hours, two days, 75 experience point gain in events, and active till the end of mission. Oxygen per hour when moving, and maximum plus three oxygen. Wow, either that one or this one. Which one would I want? My oxygen still hasn't come into effect yet, but man, without an oxygen bottle, it might be more beneficial to uh, have this near the uh, dead zone, which looks like we're getting close to. Yeah, we're getting really close to it. Let's go ahead and we'll do this one this time. All right, let's check out what this uh, potential treasure item might be. <coughs> you see the outline of a large rectangular object concealed underneath an old parachute. You gingerly lift the stained, tattered fabric to find a metal case. Maybe it was used at, to transport goods. Search the case. The case is empty. Just your luck. That's about true. That's my luck in general. So, But got a little experience out of it. All right, so let's see what we got here. Another conversation or potential. Ooh. Rocks and debris as far as I can see. You balance carefully on the boulders as, so as not to slip and fall. Suddenly, right in front of you, a shadow leaps out of a, out of a recess of the rock coming straight at you. Is this the rabbit again? You jump in fear, lose your balance, and crash to the ground. You look up a mountain. See a mountain here. Yep. You scraped up your knee because of a bunny. Stupid rabbit. Sorry, Cookie. By the way, if you don't know, I have a pet rabbit, and he's sitting right here next to me, and his name's Cookie, so... No disrespect there, but as far as this game's concerned, stupid rabbit. <laughs> Alright. A tent hastily erected against the side of a rock uh, wall catches your attention. You know, and I've seen these mountain climbers who actually do erect like tents like this on the sides of cliffs. That's insane to me. I will probably never, ever do that in my life, because personally, I have a fear of heights. Or I should say more of the fear of impact, I guess, of the falling aspect. But the heights is uh, triggers it. But anyways, I would never go up a rock surface and actually mountain climb like this in real life. So the game's kind of a fun little escapism. Obviously, it's not generally thing. But man, watching some of the people who do this, though, and the, and the gear they have, there's no way I would sleep on the side of a cliff. But anyways, they, uh, they verge in their day. Rabbit trail. Ha ha. As you get closer, you discover a sleeping mountaineer. His clothes are torn in places, and as and you can tell by his face that he is in bad shape. You can't say how long he has left to live or whether he will make it. Oh, see, the last time I looked through his provisions, I think the guy died. I'm going to see if I could try to help him this time. You roll the stranger into a recovered position and speak to him in a soothing voice. He opens his eyes and looks at you, bewildered. His strength appears to be coming back, so you help him to sit up. He is very grateful and shares his provisions with you, while assuring that you will that uh, while assuring you that he will be all right from now on. Not a speed reader. Okay. Ooh, snow boots. We will definitely put those on. All right. So let's see where we want to head to here. That looks like it's backtracking. We don't want to do that. Um, all right, let's, let's, I guess, move this direction. All right, now we can start heading down. Yes, I saw that there's stuff over this way, but I really don't want to go out of my way too much. And we still got a long ways to go, so. Let's head on down.
All right, as you approach a skeletal tree, you discover countless red ribbons with golden lettering tied to its spindly branches. Unfortunately, you can't decipher the writing. You don't know why, but for some reason, you find this spot very moving. You make a wish for uh, energy, of course, because health isn't going to help me much right now. All right, so I can continue uh, traveling along further in this day. Looks like, uh, wow, we're right at the edge of night right now. Looks like it, so it's going to get dark. Is there anything I could see up ahead I can get to quickly? I don't see anything right off, so let's let's head right here and see what happens. Yeah, sunset. All right. Oh, uh, let's. See. Ooh, what is? Let's see, I don't remember what that one is right off. That's. I'm not sure. But it's glowing the rest let's head that way let's see what this is all that's going on see environments and equipment effects that are influenced by the current mountain and actively oh it's just that's right this is all the different things i've got going on right now so was the glow worth it oh look at that wonder Northern Lights. What a sight. Didn't I already say that earlier? So increases my sanity, increases my experience. All right. Well, that's helpful. We have another uh, potential item up here of some sort. So but it's going to be critical. You know what? We'll go to here and then we'll rest. Oh, if we get there. You encounter a slope filled with rubble. Even your very first step onto it, it sets off a mini landslide with stones rolling out from under your feet and down the mountainside. Try a different path, increases time. We'll keep going anyways, Let's see what happens. Concentrating hard, you carefully bounce across the rubble. With each step, you deliberately find one of the larger stones to place your feet on, leaning as much weight as you can on your foot. You know this is the only way to prevent the rubble from sliding out from under you, and your best chance to make it to the other side unharmed. Alright, well that's good. Didn't like uh, slow me up or anything. Alright, so now we're going to go ahead and rest for the rest of the night into the day. Second use of the tent out of three. It's getting uh, dangerous. Oh, let's see. Uh, yeah. Yeah, definitely need to do that because otherwise it's not going to get a whole lot of energy up. Actually, is it much different? Yeah, it's, it is much different. Alright, and now we got another stormy condition. Wonderful. Alright, so we're going to head here. Hopefully we can get lucky and get something. Something useful, something helpful. All right, in front of you, rocks and stones have been meticulously piled up to form a mound. A grave so far up here. Let's see. Search for clues as to who is buried here or reflect and pay tribute to the dead. Ooh. Let's see if we can figure out who this might be. Carefully nudge the rocks with your boot. There's something there. You bend down and find some some old but usable equipment. Another mountaineer must be buried here. You have lots of questions and no answers. Who who were they? Uh, how did they know about the island? What happened to their companion who buried them? Yeah, good question. Um, you know what? I could use the equipment. And they're not going to, and I don't think anybody else is around, so we're going to risk it. Of course, it'd probably be nice just to leave stuff. I don't want to be considered uh, a grave robber, but it's kind of what it is right now. You ask the uh, unknown clamor for forgiveness. Thank you. But you are sure they won't hold a grudge against you. After all, they have no use for the equipment anymore, but you do. See, that's what I was saying. Continue my journey. Oh, look, we got gloves. That helps out. So... 
helps to uh, prevent my body temperature from going down so drastically. Which doesn't seem to be much in this particular mission, but still. Alright, uh, we're getting close. Getting close. Which way should I go, though? I don't see anything standing out, though, that would be a benefit. So, let's go to here real quick. Oh, now we're in the death zone. The air is getting thin and your breath is heavy. You have entered the death zone. Pause for a moment to prepare for the difficult path towards the summit. Quickly as possible. Let's see, uh, summit fever ends in eight hours. Decreased energy cost when moving. All right, I will take it slow. Plus one oxygen per hour when moving. Oh, and I can mend my wounds. Uh, which give me back a little bit of my sanity. No health. I don't need to worry about the health right now. My sanity hasn't been going down much. Um, again, I don't have an oxygen tank this go around, so I think I'm going to go with this one. All right. don't see anything around here that could uh, aid me. Let's go up to here. Ooh, out of energy in that one. And I can't go there. Oh, out of energy. It looks like that's just going to be out of energy regardless. And that takes me back down and around. Uh, Well, it looks like it gets me up there at night time, so I may do it to risk risk it to try to do it and use a tent for the last time. Oh no. As you painstakingly struggle forward, you are struck by a strange unease. Sure, you're exhausted and it's tempting to lie down right here and sleep, which is what I want to do. But your unease grows stronger. With every step you take, your doubt your doubts that you will ever reach your goal grow. Pull myself together and push on. Listen to my body. What's that supposed to mean? Well, I want to push on because I'm going to rest anyway. So let's try that. You shut out all the thoughts that are troubling you. The more you walk, the more machine you become. Your will is stronger than your exhaustion. You won't let it get you down. Oh, and so I got a little bit of my energy back, too. Um, does that mean I can get a little higher? It does. Or, let's see, can I... Let's, if I stop that and go up here... Nope, I can't do that one. But I can do this. Let's go ahead and go around. Oops. We'll go there. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and rest as we desperately need it. Last use of this tent. Oh, this is gonna be rough because I think I'm still gonna have to descend as well. I haven't seen any more caves except for those couple that we saw at the beginning. Means we'll have to rest out in the open. Alright, so yeah, the oxygen is going to go down a little bit, but we need to do this. Alright, so we now have daytime again. There's an item right there. Let's climb up to this spot first. Can I reach that? Yes, I can. 
That would be a little bit of a detour. I could probably get that going on the way down, though. Let's uh, let's go to here first, see if we can see what's at the top of the mountain. It's crazy to think that we came all that distance so far. But it looks like we still got a ways to go. Um, I'm like right here, but I definitely think that I'll probably be able to get that on the way down. So I think I'm going to go up here and see what happens and probably finish it uh, at this point for right now. Where is the scientist? You made it to the area. You made it to the area where the scientist was supposedly been spotted, even up to the top of the peak. But so far there has been no sight nor sound of him. Maybe the young woman made it all up. But why would she do that? You take a short breather and notice a used oxygen bottle. Footprints lead away from it in the opposite direction from your path. Hope springs eternal. Yep, guy had to send again. All right, I think that's going to be a good spot to stop it here for this time. It seems like the it's good halfway marks. Obviously, going up the mountain on one session and down the mountain on another session. Um, still got those same initials up here. Funny. Uh, oh, does that say? Last time I thought it said AP. Y or V or something like that, but it looks like there's also a V A N or V O N right here. Von something. Interesting. Anyway, so yeah, I think that'll be uh be it for this session here right now. So in the meantime, I appreciate the fact that you guys join me here on this uh this session. I uh would look forward to any sort of uh, comments you guys may have to you know other things to potentially do or what you think about it um if you like it give me a thumbs up um or if you also like uh, appreciate any sort of uh, subscriptions you may be willing to toss my direction so in the meantime i hope you all have a good one and uh look forward to seeing you guys the next time until then take care have a good one bye